Peace and black power. First of all, let me big up the memory of my brother Malcolm, who is now an ancestor. I don't want y'all to think brother Larry be talking about no spooky nonsense when I be talking about the ancestors. I'm talking about actual people who walked among the people who are no longer physically walking among the people. Your grandmothers and great-great-grandmothers and grandfathers and great-great-grandfathers and brothers like Marcus Garvey and Malcolm X. Ancestors. Brothers like Nat Turner. Gabriel Praza, ancestors. This is not some remotest antiquity that I'm talking about so that the individual is transformed from an actual person into a mythical being. This is not what Brother Larry be referring to when I say ancestor i'm talking about brothers like brother malcolm this is may 19th 2012 5 19 2012 this would have been the brother's birthday or born day or earth day or solar return day however you want to express it and i think this is a good opportunity to clarify an issue that brothers throw up in my face in order to try to back me up off of the reality check that I deliver to them whenever they go off into their fantasy world about being teachers and then on the other hand proclaim themselves to have sixth grade educations or being dropouts and never graduated or never did anything and then try to say that that's the white man's perspective on education when they themselves lack the temerity or the <laughs> uh, in any event right brothers like brother Sarnetta throw up in my face was brother Malcolm a teacher is brother Malcolm a teacher and I tell him that brother Malcolm was a minister because brother Malcolm was recruited into an organization that sought to utilize and use his skill at what we call the gift of gab the ability to publicly speak what some call oratory. Brother Malcolm had the natural ability to, to, to express himself in a lively manner, in a poignant manner, and in a combative manner. And brothers take this and they, they remove him from the realm of reality and they, they imbue him with all of these mythical attributes, right? Brother Malcolm was good brother. That's how Brother Malcolm turned out to be. In the beginning, Brother Malcolm was a knucklehead. Brother Larry was a knucklehead. Brother Larry's not a knucklehead now because Brother Larry has grown up, has matured. Brother Malcolm went through the same period where he matured, right? And in so doing, he became a responsible adult member of our species. I would hope that my little brothers who are hell bent on being knuckleheads right now would take from these examples and understand that it is possible to transition into a responsible member of the species however you have to want to be a responsible member of the species you cannot just assume that this is something that 
will naturally occur in your life. It's something that you have to work towards. It's something that you have to want to be. It's something that you have to realize within yourself that I'm a grown man. It's time to stop the childishness. Um, I had occasion to speak to one of my nephews, my youngest sister's child, who currently goes to Rutgers University in New Jersey. And he's a responsible young man. His name is Rayvon, which is why I took uh, the incident with Trayvon so hard, family. I have a nephew. His name is Rayvon. And he's a responsible young man, has a job, is looking for a second job, and he goes to college, right? Uh, the Rutgers University, as I stated. And I say that both to big him up and to check his little butt because in the conversation that I had with him I had to remind him that you cannot be the responsible intelligent university student employed responsible young man and at the same time talk like the bum on the damn train the individual who dropped out of school in the sixth grade, the individual who used to curse the teachers out and get thrown out of class and never went back, is a dropout, is a, a, a hang on the corner crackhead. You cannot be the responsible young man and talk exactly like the crackhead. Now, I don't want my little brothers to to say Brother Larry is this and Brother Larry is that. Brother Larry is the realest, truest, most honest brother you are apt to meet. And I'm not patting myself on the back. It's just that I am 54 years old. I refuse to tell lies. I absolutely keep it real. And you have to realize that you will not move forward in a progressive and earnest manner if you seek to hold on to the nonsense you have to let it go you have to grow up you have to mature you have to be responsible you have to set a positive example for younger individuals to follow you have to do these things in order to progress from one level to the next level this is something that they are resting in our development they intentionally did this to us because they wanted to keep us knuckleheads so that all we could do is work for them. All we could do is seek their menial labor. All we could do is make their system work while at the same time never creating a system of our own. Now, I really need you brothers to realize that at some point you got to get serious about this thing that we say we want to do. I know you march around holding up signs talking about no justice, no peace. Brother Larry refuses to do that. I don't see any point in it. I don't see any positive outcome from it. I don't see unity in that. I see foolishness in that. I see manipulation in that. I see political and, and social grandstanding in that. But I don't see any follow through in that. You march around two or three days and then everything is back to quote unquote normal. No. Listen. I love you little brothers. It's time to grow up. And by that I mean it's time to start engaging in realistic, functional dialogue amongst yourselves so that you don't have these little nonsensical confrontations with each other but you build together for something more than what your parents had or what you see other brothers have. You understand? Your little brother's going to the university like my nephew Ray Vaughn. You got little brothers who will never go to the university. It's time to tell them, listen, it's time to step our games up. We got little brothers and little sisters that see us if we act just like the knuckleheads on the corner, what is the difference between us and them? 
the fact that we went to university for four years or six years or however many years, even if it's a two-year associate's degree that you have, you have two years of higher level education. That means you have two years of being away from the knucklehead nonsense. Take that time, that opportunity to focus to or to refocus the, the, the fact that you went there. What did you go there for? You didn't go there to learn how to say nigga better. They don't teach you that. You don't learn that. You could stay right there on the corner and learn how to say nigga 15 different ways. Nigga, nigga, nigra, negro. You understand? There is a point in time that you will come to when you have to realize I have children. They look up to me for guidance. If I don't have any guidance, who is going to guide my seed? Who is going to show my children the way to go? Is that going to be the local gang member? The local head of the gang members? Come on now. They knuckleheads. And take it any way you want to take it. It's the damn truth. By now, everyone knows that Brother Larry was a serious knucklehead when Brother Larry was young. I was never an ignorant child. I was a intelligent child. Some say too damn smart for my own damn good. And I used to have ideas. And in having those ideas, I tried to carry them out and implement them. And they always led to the wrong conclusion. Always got the wrong result. As a consequence of that, my butt landed up in a cage. Holding on the iron bars. Talking to brothers through those gates. I don't want that for you younger brothers. I don't need you to see what I saw. I need you to listen to what I'm saying. I need you to not do what I did. You understand? And the reason is because you will gain nothing from it. It does not give you street credibility. It does not make you hard. It does not make you a gangster. It makes you a goddamn fool because that is a business. They profit from the fact that you go in there. They profit from the fact that they incarcerate you. How can you consciously then assist someone in gaining economic prosperity at your expense? Stunning the growth of your family. Keeping your kids in a, a, a cycle of dependence. The, the young mothers of your young children they don't become wives. They become baby mamas. And then the next guy get them. And now they got two or three kids from two or three different individuals. And nobody wants them. Come on now. We could turn it around. You just got to be serious about it. We could turn it around. You just got to be serious about it. We could turn it around. You just got to be serious about it. Stop talking about it. Be about it. It's not hard. We can do it. This is Brother Larry. I speak the truth. I don't have time for games. Like I said, you see these gray hairs on my chin. You know where they came from. They came from living life. I don't have to pretend. Nobody's going to pull a belt off and spank my butt if I tell a lie. So I tell the truth. The truth is a potent thing. It's time to step your game up. My brothers, peace and black power. Once again, that's not that spooky black. That's that real black. And for little brothers like Young Camp and Atticus, it's time to get serious, man. Young Camp, stop calling me Deacon Larry before I release some fire and burn your little ass up. Peace.